My book club for this week, uh, well, actually, a couple weeks ago, Reborn, book one, but let's ignore that, what, three weeks ago? Yeah, something like that. Who, yeah. Who's it by? By Mark Millar and Greg Capullo. Yay. Oh, um, an amazing book that had a kick ass premise. There's only one book, and there's no signs of a second one, which is what I always wanted from Mark Millar. Here's the, here's the thing. I really. So we, you alluded to this on the on the on the Steve Alton interview. Sparks. I did. I, did. Um, I think this works fine enough as a standalone, and if they never make a sequel, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, I'm totally fine with that too. But the problem is, they say end of book one, and they yeah, don't. I mean, they you just can, you say can ignore the it. end. You, I, you could, it. but it just bugs me. I I it's it's one of those things where like that we talked about it that episode because they just announced another one coming from him and it's yeah. like volume one of another book series Prodigy. that we're not going to get any Prodigy. more than one yeah. from. Mm-hmm. It's just like, hey, when I have lunch and I'm promised dinner and I don't get dinner. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. And, and By I the way, you're not getting dinner today. To be honest with you, <laughs> um, it didn't bother me with Huck. Sure. It does bother me with this one. Why? Yes. Because in this one, the world has so much more potential that I feel needed to be explored mm-hmm. and wasn't. Yeah, um, a lot of questions. So, yeah, there's actually a, a few the, questions I have about the world of Reborn, and they're not answering this first the volume. The ending, the ending, I do think ru- is a little rushed. Uh, yeah, I think we, of. I think we sprint yes. to the end instead of kind of like jog, um, especially with all the setup that we get from the first three issues. Yeah, um, I think General Frost is pretty cool though. <laughs> yeah, he is. Badass. This, this yes. is the, thing. the art in this is is exquisite. Some of the best I've seen Capola do. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Mark Millar, you know, ever since he found God, apparently has been a great writer. Yeah, because <laughs> this is this is some really good stuff, honestly. Um, the, I don't love the chosen one thing. Right. So the main it, character, she uh, actually, I have, I have an issue with the end, with the with the ending. Uh, we'll get to about her. Um, but the main character, I forgot her name. Uh, I just read this this morning. <laughs> it's sitting in front of you. Yes, it's sitting. It's literally sitting in front of me. Uh, the main character is the chosen one, the queen of Adistria. Adistria? Ad- I don't know how you guys pronounced it. Um, I don't remember, Rhea. Asteria. Ad- That's how I said Adistria. it. Yeah. Adisteria? Asteria. It says a D. I'm looking. I'm looking. Adis- talk. I think it's like Adistria or something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Fantasy world number ben. five. <laughs> um, Fantasy sci-fi world. So the idea is that, is that when you die, you go to this world. Bonnie? Is her name Bonnie? Yeah, Bonnie. Bonnie. You go to this world, the uh, Adistria, or the good place, and if you're bad, you go to the bad place. The Shadowlands. It, the Shadowlands. So it's it's kind of like the show, The Good Place, but with but a fantasy. fantasy. Yeah. Um, and it's like it's, you become like the best version of yourself. And if you're really good, you have powers. And if you're really bad, you have powers. But like you form. There's a dragon with a lion's head that has sex with a with, with a with a with the bad guy with the bad guy yeah. uh, who it turns is out to be like the killer. A D Y S T R A Ad Adistria. Distria. Whatever. Sure. Why not? Fake. Yeah. It's a fake word. <laughs> All words are made up. <laughs> oh yeah, Adistria? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Let's not keep figuring it out. Um, well, one of the things. Speaking of the end, um, I actually have a big problem with the ending because I do really like this book up until we get to the last issue when it's all of a sudden revealed that she might not be dead. And I really oh, didn't yeah. appreciate that, right? Because it's never alluded to up until the last three pages, right? Essentially. Oh yeah, yeah, right here, yeah. And she, I was she like wakes up a little bit. Yeah, and I'm like. Wait, we're led the, to believe the implication that, that it's a fever dream. That it's a fever dream, and like, and like oh, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, like, she wakes up and she and she, it was a fever dream. Okay, that's a, that's an ending. That's how Kickass it's a ends. Dumb ending. That's how Kickass ends. Um, the third Kickass spoiler alert ends with Dave Lazuski still in the in the ER from the first attack from Kickass One. Really? really? Are you that's, serious? That's terrible. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense why there's not the fourth volume. That's a bad trope. <laughs> um. And and so, I kind of and I think if you want that that to be the ending, that's fine. And then you maybe allude to another thing, but it's like only a couple of pages, and it doesn't even add any drama, any drama, because it's never like she's like, oh no, I have to get back. It's not, oh no, was this real? Well, I understand on some level why it's there, which is that she was afraid of death. Yeah, and now she's showing she's not afraid she's of accepting death. it. Sure, but if that was because like she's not afraid line. of death because she realized that death isn't nothingness, and I'm like, okay, I yeah. mean, yeah, it's yeah. real easy to be brave about dying when also death you know there's kinda, something there. Death seems kind of cool, guys. Depends and on uh, kind of you're kind you are, of yeah. awesome in the other world, so why yeah. wouldn't you be okay with death at that point? So that in that way, the message is stupid to me. And then what? And then like sometimes and the, so there's a bit like I wish. Like you guys said, it was a little bit more defined. Like sometimes your dog is a giant dog, and other times your cat is a 
talking general. Well, obviously all cats <laughs> are ice, evil. With ice powers. With ice powers, General Frost. I, I thought... He was really pissed about having his balls cut off, which like, I thought was a funny thing. I... I, Where, I, on my I, testicles, Summer. <laughs> See, like, I, exactly that. I, I like, and at the same time, I dislike, I dislike the, the entire premise because, like, it is, it, it's like, it is ill-defined. What, like, is it just good equals good, bad equals bad? Yeah. Because, like, does everyone have shades of gray? Well, I think it's, it's like the more good you are, the more powerful you are. Yeah. I didn't like that. It's yeah. here's why I didn't like that. It's, it's because nothing in it establishes her as a good enough person to warrant she's the best she's like the greatest person, person of all time say, they keep saying she is but we never see why yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly it's yeah. a lot of telling and not showing it's like Bonnie you are the best you're the best you why? always put each other you always put others before yourself yeah it's like yeah. why you're, is she the best you're, what you're like she the do? cookie cutter character right out of Sesame Street so you're you're a superhero here yeah I, yeah. I didn't like you're that pity, that's why I didn't like girl. the chosen I mean, one thing I wanted to see more about the dad when he grew up because in the scene when oh yeah he says I came I came here as a three year old yeah he's like when he because I guess when you die you're, and you're reborn into the, like the new, the next world, you're born it, as your best self. Or essentially what he was a cool baby. Or it's just <laughs> like cool baby. Or it's like, hey, some people come in when they're older. Some right, people it's come random. In, like Bonnie comes in back in her twenties, and her dad is someone like, becomes his, a god. I think it's just whatever the plot determines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, she was. A queen, oh no, her friend was the queen of the fairies. A yeah. god. So, so what I would have preferred is that there was no chosen one prophecy, and and you kind of wind up in that world. And if you're good, if you were more or less a good person then you're inclined toward good things. You you're brought into a good place. You have good things, right? Right. Set up for you. Right. Because nobody's reborn as a the baby. good place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if you're, if you were bad, the, you could you either come back things. as a you get suffering the lawyer or a you. demon. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so that is fine, but more or less from there, you should be like given the opportunity and potential to achieve yes. the, the best self also, and, and those things, but you shouldn't just have it. Also, I'm really confused. You can die in this world. Yes. So then what's next? That's what's I, my I, biggest. Okay. I didn't mind that. Yeah. I didn't mind this idea that like you die and then you wind up in this world and then you die in that world and you go on to something else. I, I like a, that idea. That's a book two thing. As like furthering on towards yeah. other things. Like when, when the fairy lady dies that's my favorite and she character. sees her husband in the white. Yeah. Yes. That's great. I don't mind that at all. I like that. I'm like, that's really cool uh, that you can keep like dying and going to different things. Like yeah. there's always another thing. I don't mind that. That's totally fine. What I wish is that instead of this chosen prophecy, it's like you die, you're a good person. Cool. You're set up in a position where you can achieve great things, mm -hmm. but you still have to work you have to, earn to it. get it. Uh, like it would have been cool if we skipped time in this other world. It wasn't done this fast. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, she just gets into a fight and she just like knows. So the villain, be a sword yeah, they keep saying like your powers will show up. Yeah. Like, like, like so you can have instincts and everything, but you, there's still like time to hone it, time to earn things, time to do mm -hmm. all this. Cause her dad's there for all this time. Yeah. It's implied. And then she's like, never mind. I know how to do everything. I'm the super, I'm Neo. Yeah. yeah. And she, so the villain in this book is Golgoth is the Minneapolis shooter. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and he was so bad that he starts to rule the Shadowlands. I thought that was, and that, that, so I actually have a problem with that reveal because it's done. Why do I care? So, so another thing I would have liked about that, because I think that is good. Like you're, you're this really bad person. So you're the villain here and it's parallels yeah. of hero and yes. villain. Like you were a really good person. And this person was not directly, you know, your problem, but they were within your sphere. Mm -hmm. Right. I'd like that same thing. And then you realize through the book that everybody she associates with, is in some way connected in her sphere from the other world. Mm -hmm. So when people pass on, it's almost like this own little more privatized sphere of influence mm -hmm. to a certain degree. So like, it's not that that many, that sniper was the worst person in the world. They were the worst person in this See, that's one sphere of the, of that was life. my problem. Cause right. if it's supposed to be this big sprawling world, it felt like everything was so well connected right. when it's like, he says it's three times the size of earth. That's huge. Yeah. So it just so happens that the greatest person and the worst person happen to live in the same exact city at the exact yeah. same time and, and his, are interconnected. His, his plot, his like over, his like villain plot. To go back. I really wish we would have had more time with the villain 
to get a little bit more about this character other yeah. than like I'm evil. Twist, yeah, like twist the first mustache. couple issues slowly work your way in, and then the last couple issues are just like they pound you over the head with so much stuff, yeah. and it's like there's not enough time. Okay, we're done. Is essentially what happens. No, yeah. the first few issues of this, I was really into it because I, you know, you guys know me. I love fantasy stuff. I love shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, me too. That's why I picked this. Yeah, but then once we got to like when we see uh, Golgarth, what was his name? Golgoth. 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 Goth, okay. Golgoth. Golgoth. G-O-L-G-O-T-H. You gotta say like Golgoth. Golgoth. Like a Klingon. Yeah. yeah. So we get to Golgoth, and I'm thinking, okay, so he's like Supreme Bad, um, last um, oh, super man. supreme demon, bangs and boss, dragons, and bot banging dragons, bangs dragons with the lion's head. But then, of course, I'm sitting there thinking, it's like, all right, Looks so cool. in this world, everyone goes there, and she says, oh, I can't find mom, and I'm, you know, oh, we they haven't found the dad hasn't found the mom yet, and she's trying to find her husband, which is okay, that's cute. But at the same time, I'm thinking, why do I have the sinking suspicion that the big bad is the dude who killed her husband? Surprise, well, surprise. The, 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 the thing about finding her, the, her husband, or her ex-husband, who's now remarried uh, in this new I world. I thought that was mm-hmm. nice. No, yeah. I like that, too. Again, we don't spend enough time with that yeah. emotional reveal. It's just like, okay, hug, I accept it. I'll go find him because I'm a nice person. I was like, mm-hmm. wait a minute. Uh, no, that uh, would... Uh, the, the nicest person. The nicest person. It's like, wait a minute. you just been... You're not even going to live with that for a minute. No, I'm just going to let that go. We don't have issues. We don't I have enough time. Be, I would be like, all right, I'm going to have to process this for a little while. I get it's been 14 years, but I still have to process this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I kind of would have liked that the a little bit more. Like if the like if the fifth issue was just she's not dead, and like she's like, oh, I just found out it's like not it's not it's not bad there, and she has you know she has this time to be like I I'm not you know I'm ready to, I'm ready to go I'm not scared anymore. You know, says goodbye to her daughter and a granddaughter, and then that's then the next issue, like she's back or something like like. You I know, still don't bit. think there's enough time. But again, that's my problem. Is like yeah. those last three issues. This truthfully, this probably shouldn't have been a six issue miniseries, um, because those last no, three it issues should be um, a book one of a longer series of, of five books. <laughs> but yeah. this this there's not enough time dedicated to the stuff <clears throat> at the end of the book. It's stretched too thin. But yeah, a- end of the day, great art. Yeah, really cool concept. Mm-hmm. Uh, potential to be a gigantic epic series if explored properly, but it isn't. It's not well world built. Yeah, mm-hmm. like one of the problems I had is because I saw people dying in like book two and book three, or in issues two and three. And I'm saying yeah, going, please, oh, there's no book two yet. Yeah, no, in issues two and three. So I'm thinking, what happens to you after you die in this world? Do they know? And we kind of got an answer with the Queen of the Fairies with her best friend and your husband. So that, okay, there is something else afterwards. But still, it's like it still doesn't really explain. It's just a tease, but it's just adding way more to the mythology, and you don't yeah. know enough already. Right. Yeah, I mean, I get that there's some there are some Spend properties. more time on what we are already well, here for. In other words, this is like John Wick is a do, does it in a way where you still don't know have a lot of questions but that doesn't hinder your experience. This gives me questions, but it hinders my experience because I want those damn questions answered. Well, and, and I think for the worst thing, that the, the whole chosen prophecy makes it so I can't really connect with the main character at all. Right. Yeah. It's like, yo, this the just needed one. to be better built. My favorite sure. character was the Queen of the Fairies because she, spe- she, she spent her whole life devoted to God, being the best person possible. I and then it turns really out everything she knew was a lie. And I that, love the dad. And that ruined her. And, yes. and, sh- and because she is still always a good person at heart, she eventually becomes that good person right. still. That's so great. And she's just like, I seriously don't care. She should have been the care. freaking main character. No, she was great. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That would have been actually a good. You know, maybe she wasn't like changing the whole Queen of the Fairies thing, and that she's the character we follow. She's up. way more. She has. She has. She had this faith, and then she's like, "Well, Jesus isn't here. Or, what do I do?" She, or she's more challenged been, than Bonnie is. Or yeah. its own. Its own. Like again, this has potential. It could have been this giant series that could have been one whole book. Is her yeah. story? Mm-hmm. Like, and and you have the potential to like eventually show what happens in the next world. What Mark is Millar that? has There's not, so much here. Mark Millar has not proven to us. Especially because the sequel... He's J.J. Abrams of the comic book world. Especially because the sequel to Kingsman... Ooh. You're not wrong. He hasn't finished anything. Especially because the sequel to Kingsman was not written by him. Like, he has not proven to us that he is a Robert Kirkman. Robert Kirkman has three ongoing books at one time. (laughs) He's such... Like, he's on time, each time. However you might feel about Robert Kirkman or his stuff or whatever, he is a world builder. Yeah. He knows how to build a giant world that you can explore and delve into character histories, and he takes his time to unveil those stories. Yeah. This needed that kind of treatment to be good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and mm-hmm. you, have this, you have the problem that Mark Millar is just kind of like, well, I'll do the six issue miniseries, and then I'll do this other six issue miniseries, and then I'll do this other six issue miniseries, and then I'll do this other one. Maybe I should go back to the other one. No, no I'll do this other one instead. Yeah. Or I'll just do kick ass again. Huh. 
He's not writing, he's not writing Kick-Ass. Ass. The new oh. Kick-Ass is not written by Com- him. Oh. Comparing this, Huck had everything I needed in that one story for me to connect yeah. and feel like that story was flushed it was, out. It was small this scale. This was yeah. total opposite. Yeah. It didn't have anywhere near enough for me to get uh, everything I wanted yeah. out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I I, I, don't get me wrong. I still like Reborn. I, I think will this still, is a lot of fun. Yeah. I will still recommend Reborn. The art's great. I oh. think Capula's art does a lot for me. Oh, yes. yes. A lot. Yeah. Because he draws some, some of the lot. coolest dragon monsters and like monster demons. And, like General Frost is like a cool killer. I love the yeah. design yeah. of General he's Frost. Yeah, he's, he's an evil cat man. He breathes like I, uh, ice. That's so I cool. Love, I love the monsters. I lo- even love the big bad. I even love the design. of the lion head. Yeah, I, I even, just can't get over that. I think yeah. so, Brad. Yeah. So I even love the designs of the weapons and the and the way the world is. Is how it's a sci fi fantasy mix. Mm-hmm. I love it. It kind of reminds me of Ruby a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, reminds it's me just of Destiny a little bit. The main storyline, it doesn't completely piss me off. But there are things where I'm, I was reading and thinking, how come this isn't a thing? How it's come shallow. this hasn't a thing? Of where, like. Look how cool that is! Yeah, I'm yeah. showing them a splash page, one panel splash page, where they're just rocking over the thing, and you just see a, this, like, this a huge b- chasm, chasm, yeah. chasm yeah. with battles. The, like, the, the art that's is incredible. All Capula, yeah. the yeah. art is so good. But and then this splash page, where is the the villain? I'm gonna bang my dragon going now. Going to the dragon yeah. lady. Like, I'm, but no, that's a dude. Yeah. They're both dudes. <clears throat> oh, okay, good. Yeah. Um, it's like, I wish great. to make love to I, my sweet dragon <laughs> over my head. <laughs> It's just too shallow. Yeah. The whole thing mm-hmm. as a story is just too shallow. If there just, are great character moments. Yeah. But there isn't a but lot the, of plot. The focal point is Bonnie, and she's not interesting. No. So if your main character is interesting, it's hard for you to connect. Well, my biggest problem is that from issue one, it's set up with this whole thing where she was afraid to die. Mm-hmm. And then that's the turnaround at the end is like, oh, she's actually not dead yet, and she's not afraid, so she embraces it. And I'm like, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, just no, you should have that You there. know that there's something after death. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Right. Yeah, and we may we sound negative on this book, but I think overall, like it's it's a fun read. Just like you can't call a book one like expecting there, us to like. Here, here's it's, the thing. It's so more, we're we're, yeah. ne- we're negative on it. I feel like because we wanted more. Yeah. yeah. Because this is a good premise. Yeah. And it's even a good book. Mm-hmm. It's just it could be great. It's yeah. it's more upsetting because it isn't bad. It's just poorly thought out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a question for you before we wrap this up. Uh. If you knew this was the next world, would you just go up and off yourself right now? I'd be dead right now. Yeah, I'd wrap no, my real. No, I mean I'm a great person, so I'd probably end up like a cool like six arm like warrior god. Yeah, totally. No, yeah, no, I I do a lot more good karma. Yeah, for real. <laughs> to make sure that I'm awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I, would, like, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't immediately go now. <laughs> I mean, to, I mean, to, truth be told, I, I wouldn't just go and just off myself right off the bat. But then, but then because, I'd be able- because you don't know what. Suicide might lead to. In oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you point. could end up for the shadow land in the in the bad land or whatever. I don't know. Have you seen they have pretty they have sexy dragon lines? That's not a good thing. Everything you put your loved ones through by killing yourself. True. Yeah. Uh, sure. No, Man, but I, I'm glad I haven't done it yet. Because but I, I would. De- <laughs> but what I would definitely do in case I came back in case I woke up and I was in my uh, uh like my teens, I would definitely uh go brush up on my sword play quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, imagine coming back, but you're like 90. That's like, what happens. Oh to, shit! Like, I'm, how is this? I'm the wise old grizzled <laughs> wizard. Uh, guess I would age again. All right. I grow my beard and find a wizard garb. And just be like, well, this is me now. This is uh, I'm Merlin. Say, essentially, this is like a, a Dungeons and Dragons thing come to life, and that's like my perfect world. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, all right. Anything more we want to add? I hope. I wish there was a book too. I wish this was uh, stronger. Which yeah. was fleshed out more. Yeah, yeah. This could be. This could have been really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It still is cool, especially when it was announced because this is the first book he did after Batman, and like all eyes. He were... hadn't done. He hadn't done uh, an indie book since Spawn. Essentially, yeah. he did Batman for like five years straight. Yeah, and it's like, hey, this is my next big thing with Mark Millar. So everyone was so hyped. I'm like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's fine. 